What does Giveon mean? My mom told me that she picked that name so I would somehow end up being someone that gives. If that's true, then she was right. So hopefully I'm giving you guys something now and I continue to give. So it's not give on, give on, or give on. It's give on. Before give on would blow up after being featured on Drake's hit song, Chicago Freestyle. Before give on would be about as productive as anyone else in the world during the course of 2020, releasing not one, but two EPs. Take time is my life's work. Yeah. So that process was just a compilation of like me listening to people being empathetic, having these conversations, yeah. and then turning it into one um, overarching story. Yeah. And yeah, it was just, in the, that's just the, the, the concept and conceptualize. Uh, Before Giveon would have over 105,000 followers on Twitter, 476,000 followers on Instagram, and over 60 million views on his YouTube channel at the time of this recording. Giveon might have just released his first two EPs on a major label and made an appearance on Drake's newest project. But if it wasn't for his mother, he wouldn't be here at all. The way he tells it, his mom was the first person to realize that her son had a gift for singing, and she helped this talented young man develop his smooth baritone voice. My mom, would, whenever she cleaned the house, she would just play like, just R&B. Like, I, I say black woman heartbreak music. That's what, naturally, I look <laughs> at. I make a lot of heartbreak music, not even on purpose, it's just like. That's right, Giveon's mom would make him sing at every family birthday party and for these events, They'd sing one song and one song only. Speaking with the press telegram, he told them, I was literally just singing the happy birthday song. So after years of just singing that, I just honed my craft. I didn't know that would happen, so I called my mom, Mr. Miyagi. Flash forward a bunch of years, and thanks to Mr. Miyagi, or I suppose I should say, Miss Giveon, has just released a newest EP inspired by past romances and hometown experiences from Long Beach, California. Describe your hometown Long Beach in three words. I'll say iconic because of all the entertainers and athletes. Iconic figures like Snoop Dogg that we have that came out of Long Beach. But where he's from is far from the only inspiration this young man uses when it comes to making some truly genre-defying music. What's going on guys, it's boy Marlon Palmer back at it again with a brand new video. This one taking a look at the up and coming Giveon before the fame here for you on Before They're Famous. You guys have been begging me for this one ever since Chicago Freestyle Drop, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at that dude fly and let me know what you guys think. And let's get into the story. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Giveon Desmond Evans was born on February 21st, 1995 in Long Beach, California, where he grew up in a family alongside three brothers and his mother. It was thanks to his mom that he developed a love for music from an early age. She would constantly be playing artists like Mary J. Bly, Sade, and Anita Baker as she cleaned their family home. Giveon told Press Telegram, she played those songs all day, so I had no choice but to sing along, and then she noticed I was able to stay in key and keep a note. That's when the singing at birthday parties commenced, but that wasn't the only thing his mom did to help him further his talent. As he got older, Giveon's voice changed and became deeper, which caused him to lose confidence in his ability. So while he was attending Long Beach Poly High School, his mom signed him up to take part in a music education program at the Grammy Museum, which is where Giveon came face to face, or maybe more like ear to mouth, to baritone singers like Barry White, and in particular, Frank Sinatra. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's, it's funny, because at first, I, um. I thought I sounded weird, like growing up. And then I did this program at the, the Grammy Museum in LA. And especially at that time, I'm growing up on um, Frank Ocean and Miguel and their tones are more traditional. So the Grammy Museum, that was my first time hearing a baritone singer. So they, they told me to go listen to Frank Sinatra. And then I was like, oh, and that's when it all like, clicked and connected. Listening to that type of music inspired him to start writing his own. As a teenager, he was looking up to other artists as well, like Frank Ocean and Miguel, but because he didn't sound like them, he didn't know if he'd make it. But after discovering Sinatra, Giveon found a unique way to give the best of both worlds by crafting R&B tracks and then singing them in baritone. As a young man, he also worked on his writing skills. He had always been someone who took to creating short stories from a very early age, but these stories would always take too long to make so he decided to write them in the form of songs. Around 2013, when he was still quite young, he dropped an EP, but he knew soon after that, something still wasn't right. He ended up scrapping the project altogether, and now you can't find it anywhere online. 
At that moment in time, he recognized that he had to grow more as an artist and as a person if he truly wanted to succeed. As Giveon continued to refine his craft, he picked up a job working as a waiter and mascot for a local bubblegum shrimp franchise. Story about my childhood. Another blast when you pass bubblegum. Oh man. So best way to uh, cook shrimp, oil shrimp, fried shrimp, or shrimp creole? That's such a triggering, a triggering question. <laughs> like, yo, we have to do, I was a server and I had to be in a shrimp suit. So we have to ask the tables trivia about the movie. I like fried shrimp. He ended up working there for years before finally reaching his breaking point. He told Billboard, it was a random day and I was standing in the suit. A kid wanted a picture and I was like, nah, man, I'm not doing this. It's time for me to go. I was so fed up. I left with no plan, no money or anything. He picked up unemployment for a little bit and then started his own dog walking business in his neighborhood. He went to FedEx and printed up flyers, hanging them around his block. He spent a couple months walking other people's dogs before finally deciding to take another crack at making it in music. That's when he jumped onto YouTube and started searching things like the greatest artists of all time to try and figure out what they were doing differently from him. Having learned a lot from his first go round, he coupled that with his new knowledge and created two new tracks, Garden Kisses and Fields. These two tracks would become huge viral sensations and get Giveon noticed by Seven Thomas, a producer who's worked with other greats like Rihanna, Beyonce, and Travis Scott. After these two connected, they created Giveon's biggest success to date, Like I Want You. This track led to a further opportunity to open for LA-based Swedish singer Snow Allegra on her world tour. Then there was his recent feature with Drake that got everyone talking, only at first, they were kind of talking about it the wrong guy. Yeah, people mistook Giveon for Sanfa, so Giveon hopped onto Twitter to clear things up. Although I will say they do have very similar voices. From there, he was signed to Epic Records and Seven Thomas's record label, Not So Fast. Together, they dropped Giveon's first studio EP, aptly titled Take Time, and then followed that up with a release titled When It's All Said and Done, that dropped in October of this year. As for where Giveon goes from here, well, I think that's a story for another time. After all, this is before they're famous. What'd you guys think about Giveon's story? Anything in particular that surprised you? I gotta give the man mad props for his patience. Like, <laughs> I've worked as a mascot, Chuck E. Cheese, I know what that's like. It had to be difficult to think you're ready at such an early age and then have to wait further a handful of years to really, really manifest your success. But hey, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. And that's always my best advice. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you wanna see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video.